Stick with me and I'll show you what to do with that crystallized honey. About seven or eight years ago, I bought a couple things of honey that I never used and they turned into blocks of sugar. And the problem was they were in plastic bottles because if it was in something like this, a mason jar, I would have been able to just put it in boiling water and reheat it. But since it was in plastic, I really didn't want to do that because you heat up plastic, you know, not so good with your food. It puts off a lot of uh, estrogen disrupting problems. It, basically, anytime you heat up plastic, it screws up your hormones. It puts a bunch of disruptors out. So you don't want to heat anything in plastic. It goes with like microwaving and plastic's just bad news to heat up and eat from. So I had to transfer it out of plastic and then boil it down and put it in a jar and I put it in one of these jars uh, this is actually about six or seven months old from the video here so I'm gonna show you an older video I actually recorded the process um, and I actually have honeycomb in the top of this thing I had some extra honeycomb actual honeycomb um, and I just like you know what I'm gonna blend my honey and lump it all together so it's all in here and at this point this one is starting to crystallize again it's been about six seven months I can just put this in um, to a pan of water and slowly break it up. So let me show you the process of what to do if you have plastic and um, you don't want to heat it up. So I had a problem. I have all this old honey that I can't use because it's crystallized. And it, you know it's pretty expensive stuff. It's organic honey, but it comes in these plastic containers. So I actually had to cut the plastic container and dig this stuff out. And then what I'm going to do is reheat this, and then I'm going to pour it into a glass jar. Now, I didn't, there, there are some people that say, well, you know, if you're here's a honey crystallized, just put your plastic in water and heat it up. And uh, I didn't want to do that because I thought it would leach all the plastic chemicals even more. I'm not crazy about buying stuff out of plastic anyway. So I'm going to heat this up and then put it into a jar. Now it's only been about three or four minutes, but you can see the crystals are already starting to become honey again. Um, I put it on medium heat because I don't want to burn it. I think you can burn honey. So we're going to go low heat for a while. I'm told this takes a while. So I'll let you know. Also, you know, um, I'm not really that big of a fan of honey. I like maple and uh, I've had this stuff for years I bought it actually when I was really into prepping because I thought it would be a wonderful thing to trade and prep it stores forever it never goes bad thought it'd be really smart you know it's a useful thing so I'm pretty much just gonna keep it in my prep pile but honestly I'm a maple guy I love maple living in New Hampshire and uh, we're close to Canada too which they have really good maple so let's see what happens here so it's been about 15-20 minutes. I moved it to low and let it cool a little bit. And uh, I'm going to put it in while it's still warm. It's probably easier to deal with. And just scrape the sides as it goes. But you'll see there's no more crystals left. And I hope I can get all this in one jar. But as it's hot, you can pretty much... If you let it cool too much, then you're scraping everything for a while. So, I'll let this cool in the jar before I put the top on. But I wanted to use very low heat because honey moisture is really important. It should be somewhere around 12% uh, to keep, the, keep it lasting forever. If you boil away too much of the moisture, like if you use a higher heat, it uh, screws up the honey. Now, obviously, I would prefer raw honey. I didn't want to do this, but it was pretty much completely useless as a big block. Uh, so, you know, I might have lost a, a little nutrients heating it up and uh, lost a little honey, but it was pretty much worthless otherwise. Alright, so I hope you learned something. So here's a little side note though. Once you do get it transferred in the glass, you can heat it up uh, just by making sure you start the honey in the water and then bring everything up to a slow boil. This does take a while. Sometimes it takes as long as a half hour. I've even seen it... Um, take as much as an hour to get it all the way into liquid if, with a low boil. 
Now you'll notice that even though I don't have the water all the way up that the honey gets so hot that it actually will work its way up to the top. This would work better if I had a bigger pot but I don't so this is what I'm doing with it. And once um, once it gets back in the liquid it'll stay this way for a while, a good few months. So there you go. And like I said just be sure not to uh, boil the water and then drop the jar in because you can crack the jar. So you want to bring everything up at the same time. I hope you learned something there and you can salvage your own honey. You know, you can use it in crystallized form for things like um, you can make mead with it or you can bake with it and kind of boil it down. But it's nice to have all your honey actually flowing so you can use it as spreads and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed this and you found it useful. And remember, I'm streaming at all these other services, these decentralized platforms. Please check me out over there. And if you like what you see, maybe drop a little cryptocurrency. Otherwise, I'm still publishing over at YouTube. And if you're watching, um, feel free, if, you, if you, you know, you've been watching the show a long time, check out my Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support the show and subscribe. Keep this show going. And if you're new, just check out more stories. Just click these things appear now on YouTube and follow it over there. Thanks so much.